Hi guys and welcome to yet another very really exciting Adobe Illustrator tutorial in this tutorial we are going to talk about panels you now, now there are a lot of panels in Adobe Illustrator and some of them might be shown here in this strip over here to the right side uh, if you click on it this small icon it collapses or increases it or you know shows you the different panels there are color panels you know color guides patches you know uh, other panels like appearance panels layer panels and stuff but if you cannot find any panel over here then those panels might not be turned on and you can always come to windows and all these are panels and you can find them in here and stuff like these there are a lot of panels but if you want to group them into categories there are four broad categories in my view although depending on your own perspective they might be different uh, of course there are categories which do not fit any of these four broad categories but most of them i'm not saying all of them just most of them fit into this broad category over here like in these uh, four uh, panel categories so the first one in this group which is modify and uh, command panel it only modifies the shape that you already created it does not create new things it just creates or manage or modify their color their shapes their sizes for example if i create a basic square or rectangular shape here and look at its you know stroke if i increase its size for example to 16 like this and go to the stroke panel i can access it from here and i also can access it from here there is the stroke panel what it does is it just modifies its stroke it brings it inside to the center alignment or to the outside don't worry about these things i'm going to teach you about these things in the upcoming tutorial it rounds its edges and does many other things you know to it all these can be achieved with these stroke panels this is an example of modification it's not creating any new stroke or anything it's just modifying what is already present that's why i call it by the modified panel group and there are so many others for example this gradient one. of course you can create it but you can if you already applied a gradient for example let me apply a gradient to my uh, fill here with this button icon now i can modify that uh, you know uh, uh, gradient with this panel like so so these are the examples of the modify or command panel they just modify your stuff and also the same thing goes for the align command if i had text in here then managing it all its justification to one side or to the other side like this would be very really easy written by the align panel which gives me that options of aligning it to the left to the right to the center to the top to the bottom and stuff like this these are all the examples of modify and command then there comes the store panel what does store panel does it stores things and then you can use them later on you can have these things created yourself then you can store them or you can download them from the net and there are a lot of places and in the future tutorial i might tell you about them few of them where you can download certain stuff and one of the good example of these is swatch panel and if you come down here there are a lot of you know stuffs in here uh, and swatches like these but if you come to this small icon which says library if you click on it there are even more options in it and you can even store or download other options and click on this other library option over down here and you can of course you know uh, access them there for example now i click this art icon and if i select my uh, fill over here or shape then i can change its color and apply it to it and the same way goes for the brush to, uh, options or brush panel it is also a store panel because you can store a lot of you know brush and stuff like that. for example if i click on this uh, arrow panel or arrow icons as you can see my stroke is changed into an arrow and i can create many different type of arrows with it like so okay let me set that out and now let us apply the arrow to it 
as you can see I created this and don't worry about the creation of these things I will teach you all these things in the upcoming tutorial and then after this comes the create panel in which we create different objects and stuff and then ready them for you know sending them to or exporting them to uh, other medias for modification or to the web for example if I want to send this arrow or this basic shape I just have to drag them here and then they are ready for creation and they would be saved and exported in different sort of formats to uh, web or to my art don't worry about creating or the understanding of this panel also I'm gonna do a whole uh, tutorial about the asset export panel also and the last one is the manage panel in the manage panel comes for example panels like layers panel as you can see there are layers I'm gonna explain this to you in the upcoming uh, tutorials also here what you can do is manage your layers rename them if you double click on them and for example triple one I want to name this and uh, organizational works are done in these panels also the artwork panel of course we're going to create artwork in the future tutorials and I'm gonna teach you what's the benefits of creating artwork and what you can use them for so those can be also created and used and managed and organized in this panel so these panels can be used like this but other than these panels like uh, pathfinder or navigator you know which does not create store or anything it just manage or navigates a uh, your screen did not come into any of these categories for example but these are the four main categories of panels about which we are going to learn in the upcoming tutorials in detail but these are you and the panels that you will be most concerned with so with this basic knowledge of panels what panels are and what panel commands are uh, 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 for the time being, I take my leave from you guys and hope to see you in the future tutorials. Until that time, goodbye.